solo classic riff it's the song that every lead guitar player should learn and if not the second solo definitely the first solo because i think that's where most of the interesting stuff is um the phrasing here is just it's just amazing this this is why people admire clapton so much his work in the early days with cream was really really outstanding work everybody copied clapton including van halen and you know, just about everybody that plays, right? So anyways, let's get into this thing. It's in the A, A blues scale, basically, for the most part. Um, but it also is in the uh, the major and the minor pentatonic shapes, okay? And that's one of the coolest things about this song is the way he, he mixes those two together. Um, it's just perfectly, okay? You couldn't do it any better than what he does it in this solo. But to start the song, we got to get into the lick. So, so the lick starts out with, a, and from what I can tell, the first time he does that, he pulls it off, right? Okay. And then after that, he picks it. So it's play the full chord. And every time thereafter, when you um, you don't play a chord, you just play the the A note. Okay, and the, now the uh, second time through, he he does that harmony, just on the B string. And then then the next time, he just hits it once. So it's it's like this. Then we're up to the D7, and that, that rhythm is, okay?
Okay, so that whole thing so far is like. And we're back here. And this next, like, I've seen a lot of guys play this and they never get this right. Um, this next, like, is not that tough. It's just, it's just. This is how he does it. He goes. So it's to the open A. And then you just sort of form that part of an E chord, right? Uh, so it's just on the on the C note there. Third fret of the A string. Okay, so from the D. Uh, okay and then we come into this lick here up and now we're up into the a minor pentatonic uh, Extra note on there. Okay, and then he sort of switches here again to the major, with the third there. That's the major third. intro section okay so we'll move on now to the uh, main solo main solo starts here kind of in the uh, in the a major pentatonic shape and uh, he starts out with this lick very rhythmic lick a lot of these licks are really rhythmic it's almost like uh, he's playing drums on the guitar um, so, starts with a hammer on. So fast, that's... Okay, so there's a lot of little, little notes in there, a lot of, like, drumming on the strings, right? Okay, and then we're, we're uh... Hammer on. Okay. I think he slides up to that one. Well, he does slide up. Yeah. And th then we're still in the major here. So. tendency just to go instead of but he does that a lot in this song where he kind of just from the minor third to the major third right right and then we're here which is now we're going into the minor pentatonic, right? So everything so far in the solo has been major. Here. That's sort of the beginning of the minor part, right? And then we're this lick. That 
last one is a hammer on it, right? <laughs> And that's a hammer on and a slide up. So And as soon as we get there we we we, we pick it so This thing again. So that's sort of major again, right? But then we hit that minor seventh there, slide it up to the A. And then we're here. This look here, which is just going from the minor third to the major third to the fifth, and I'm going to get that chord in there. And it's a third, you know. So thirds oftentimes sound uh, they don't, they, you know, fourths and fifths sound better. Thirds sound a little distorted. So, but he's only on it for a second, so it's. Somebody would play it like this. And he might be doing that. I can't really tell there. Sometimes I hear that note, that octave, but more dominant is that note to me. So I play it like that. Uh, you say, and you could say, well, why not just keep the open A string? Because there's vibrato on it, right? You can't vibrato an open string, right? So, okay, and then we come into this lick. So, again, that minor third to the major third. Getting that seventh in there too, right? So the G. Okay, then we're up here. To me, that's a real important look at the song because I see a lot of guys do it like this. And to me, that's, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to be sure because you can't find videos of this stuff because it's so old, right? Um, but to me, I hear this. I definitely hear a little that thing in there. Maybe not as exaggerated as that, but... Okay, that's how I hear it. So we're going because we're up in this uh, fourth position, uh, A minor pentatonic there. Um, so we're here on the B string to the A, and here bent a half step, like you slowly bend it up, and you put your finger there once it's bent on the 12th fret, or the 14th fret, right? Okay, 
that's a real feel lick. So, um... <laughs> Okay, so that might be something you're going to have to work on to get that sounding smooth. And then we come into these double stop type licks. So it's just sliding up to here. Okay, and then we slide up again. Little hook on that note. Okay, so uh, that whole bit is... Um... Right? And then we come up into this, this uh, octave bend, or unison bend, I guess you call it. It'll bend on that one too. Okay, down here. Like a unison bend, and then you let go of that to bend it down. Right? A little push up on that one. Okay. So that whole bit then is. Uh, Then we're back here, but instead of doing, we actually had that note in there too, the B. I don't know if that's a mistake when he was playing or what, but uh, um, that's definitely in there, okay? So. Okay, so. Those are hammer ons there. And a slide. Okay, then we're up here and we're back in the major again now. We're back to like playing drums on guitar strings there, right? And then we finish the lick off with this, or the solo off with this. on the D string, pull off on the uh, on the G string, the timing on that is a little funny, um, a lot of these licks it's all timing and phrasing right, that's what's so cool about this first solo is there's so many different phrases and timing on these licks. It's kind of like when you have a conversation with somebody, you know, and they, they, you know, they have different phrases that they use. It just makes it more interesting, right? Keeps your attention. Um, and this, this solo is really, he does a brilliant job here. And also of mixing the major and the minor pentatonics, which is, it's basically a study in how to do that. So, you know, if you're going to be a rock guitar player, definitely you'll want to learn this song. Okay. All right. Hope you got something out of it. See you.